What's up guys, Shuri here, and today I'm going to show you how to use the last rest in CUDA. As a lot of you are probably aware, in the last update they made it where all time locking snipers basically became trash. This is kind of true, kind of not. So, pretty much the way it works is these snipers are affected by weird invisible force fields. People's heads are kind of like next to something or even their body, um, it can be really hard to hit him. And so I wanted to find out, hey, can you do anything about this? Is there any way to actually like get around it? Can you work around it and outskill the problem? And yes, yes you can. Um, not in all cases, I do want to be clear. It screwed me over a ton of times, so it's not like it worked every time. But I did find out that there is a pretty good way to just get yourself over enough to be able to hit everybody. And it really just takes a lot of practice, I'm not going to lie. But what you got to do is make sure that you have at least more than half of the person's body out from some kind of wall. And if they are in a head glitch where you can only see their head, your best bet is to just run away. The only reason I was able to hit that guy through the head glitch is he was far enough behind it that it actually let me hit him. If he had actually been, like, hugging the hay bell, then his head would have had a lot less clearance, and it would have just basically made him invincible, like there was an invisible wall in front of him. And so, the biggest thing that I tried to do was go and find people that were, like, kind of out in the open, and try to be able to shoot them and not really give them a chance to take advantage of the fact that my spinny wheel snipers cannot hit them if they're using wall glitches really well and it does have a lot of drawbacks to it because you do have to sometimes do what i'm doing right here where right there it should have already started but i had to go over to the right even more so to be able to get him and if you're gonna do that do what i did there know that i'm going to the right side so go ahead and start going to wherever the next piece of cover is on that right side and by getting over far enough it makes their head glitches not nearly as effective because this invincibility thing only works if they have more than half of their body inside of the wall or if their head is just like right next to the head glitch so it is very sensitive on their end to be able to pull off making it where my sniper won't shoot but it is very hard to realize exactly when you're good and when you're not and that is one thing that like right there that guy tried to use the truck so what i did was i moved to the left to make sure he couldn't and also i'm trying to use the trucks as well and so if they're going to have a sniper with spinny wheels, I can get out of it. And I think that's one really important thing is right now, in no matter what you do, you're going to need to be paying attention to where you are on the map way more than you normally would. And sadly, this is going to be great for things like Orochi campers that are just going to abuse the hell out of this, which I really hope they don't because... The worst thing that can happen is making everyone quit before they can fix this. And that's pretty much what I think Orochi camping with this would do. And I just really hope that doesn't happen. Because there are a lot of problems for sure. But in the long run, I think Gob's headed in a really good direction. And I'm not just saying that because I just killed a guy that I didn't know was there and then killed his friend. But... What I'm really saying, and in all seriousness, the game gave everybody a ton of gold. And to do this right before money to grow, that definitely means that Gob's going to be losing money from doing this. Because this is when people buy their gold every month, when it's on sale. And since they did it right before Black Friday, which is when all the gold guns go on sale like 20, 30, 40, and 50% off. That means that a ton of people save up for this exact day every year. And instead of just taking the huge money that was going to come from this money to grow, they instead gave everyone a lot of gold so they can buy these gold guns. And honestly, they're going to lose a lot of money from doing that. But I think it's good for the game, and so do they. 
a lot of people don't really know why the matchmaking sucks. They just know it does. And I don't mean the whole solo queue versus group queue. But before that, the reason they had to make that in the first place. And the reason is there's just not enough players at Platinum. And some people think it's because the game sucks and everyone left. And that's partly true. A lot of people left. But that's not why all of this happened. All of this happened because players would go into the silver and gold leagues and just stay there. And then they would get all the good weapons, like all the fragment weapons, and they would play normal players who didn't spend money or spent just a little bit of gold, but didn't have the knowledge of a platinum player to be able to get all of the fragment weapons like those guys were doing. And then they would all play together in groups of two to four, and have 90 to 99 percent wins and go up and then they would hit near platinum with a thousand games played almost all in one but the problem with that is if you win a thousand games that means somebody has to lose a thousand games this game is an exact one-to-one -one on wins and losses for every team that wins there has to be a team that loses and while this seems obvious because it is it means that these people that are recreating these accounts, then they just make a new one, and then they just enter another thousand wins in. All the players who aren't doing this are just getting losses. And it's taking those players like a thousand times longer to be able to get to platinum than it should. And in reality, it's taking some of these people five and six thousand games to get to platinum. And they're not even getting to platinum off of trophies. They're getting to platinum off of leveling up. And once you hit a certain level, it would automatically end up giving you trophies to be in the next gold three or gold four, gold five, whatever it happened to be. And that's how these people are leveling up to platinum. And the reason for this is they just couldn't win enough games to get trophies without running into these people who are camping in these lower leagues who kept remaking accounts, making them lose over and over, and never gain enough trophies to get to that next league without getting enough points to basically just level up enough times to just end up getting to that next stage. And it's really sad that's the case, but it's very, very hard to get someone to play thousands of games. And worst case scenario was the 5,000 type games. But a lot of them who weren't the worst case scenario were still taking 2,500 to 3,000 games. And it really just makes it where you're not going to do it. You're going to quit. And that's what a lot of people did. And the worst part is all of these people who were gold and silver league camping, they would just remake the account and never go platinum themselves. And so when people naturally would move on in stages of their life having a kid, or they would go and realize that COD Mobile's better, or all different types of things that make you go to a different game or stop playing them all together, there's no one to replace them. And so it's just a slow trickle down from what we used to have to nothing. And I think Gob finally figured that out, and they were willing to take the hit to their wallet and doing it right before Black Friday, instead of just getting that quick cash grab, I think that shows that they're investing in this game and they want it to be alive. Because they could have just took that quick cash grab because this could be the last Black Friday they had to do it on. So, to me, this shows a lot of hope. I mean, it really sucks that they screwed up this bad right after they did that. Because um, they really might have just blown the only opportunity they had and... It might be at a point of no return. They don't hurry up and fix this. But I am going to do my part to show you guys how to play with this glitch still in effect. As I did pretty good in all of these clips. I mean, that's a ton of five at once, four at once, and unstoppables. And uh, hopefully we can get each other past this really terrible spot to a point that we have these lower players getting into platinum. And having a healthier player base to where we don't have to have a solo and group queue. And we don't have to play the same three people over and over again all night long. 
and team of fours have other people to play against and it's not just the same solos over and over and everyone can have a lot better of a time and I think Gob's willing to put in the work and I know I am so I'm going to do my best to give you guys videos to help you learn how to play through this time until they can fix it and even after that I'm going to do my best to make it to where you guys enjoy playing the game and we can all have something that we're proud of and uh, enjoy. And uh, I, I hope this helps, guys. And I hope this showed you that even now you can still use these kind of snipers. Uh, tomorrow I'll do a live stream and see what we can do on stream together with uh, Barracuda. And uh, we'll, we'll have some fun. Alright, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. And I'll see you around.